in our last video we saw how we can create raid on ubuntu server using the software raid in this video i'm going to show you if one of the discs goes bad how we can replace and rebuild the raid hello and welcome back to my channel okay so first of all what i'm going to do is going to uh the hardware and i have these two discs so i'm just going to detach this one yes and if i go back to here and you can see the error message raid one md0 disk failure on stb2 disabling device operation continuing on one device so that means if our disk goes bad it's still gonna work so you can see i can hit enter and if i do lsblk i can see only one uh, drive in uh, raid one so that means device is still working but we still need another drive okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna attach that disk back so you can consider that adding another uh, drive with the same uh, capacity so this one is 40 gb and you can see this one is unused because i just detached it so i'm just gonna click on edit and add it back uh, now you can see I have uh, both two 40 GB drives and uh, if I do LSVLK you will see the drive but it's not the part of RAID so we still have only one drive because we need to do uh, the rebuilding process or the resilbring process okay and one thing for this one STB uh, we already had that drive and we had the partition already created so that's why it's showing uh this um partition so if you uh just see sdb then you need to create a partition and it should match the size with the uh sda2 and then we are going to use a utility a tool called mdadm so if you don't have that you can install using apt install md adm but if you see it's already there then it's good but i think for this one i did not have uh it's installing that and after that installation we can type the command md adm space dash dash detail space dash dash scan so it will scan uh, detail and scan and now we can see we have this array dev md0 and this is the metadata for that one and uh, if you want to uh, create the uh, partition you can use fdisk utility this one so if you uh, uh, just do fdisk space hyphen l it will show you the partition uh, of um, your SDA you can see and match with the SDB and you can use the same uh, so let me just show you F disk uh, you can do dev and then SDB as we're uh, going to do it SDB so you can type M for help and it will show you all the commands so you can uh, do P I guess to print the partition details so for me it's uh, already created so I'm not going to do this but if you have to create a new one, uh, you can do N and it will ask you a few things and make sure you do the same thing. Okay, and then uh, I just did Control C to exit from here. But now I'm going to uh, add the SDB2 into the RAID array. So for that, the command is MD ADM dash dash manage dash dev md0 so we are going to add in the uh, rate so our rate was md0 as i showed you with the first command when you scan and see the detail and then we are going to type the command add so first we, we are using this utility and we are going to manage this one and what we are going to manage we are going to add and then we are going to say dev and then stb2 so you have to be sure about this one we are going to mount sdb2 
as in my previous video i showed you sd sda2 and sdb2 these both are the part of raid and then hit enter so now you can see it says mdadm added uh this one and if you do lsvlk you should be able to see raid one but don't do anything now because it just started the process you can type the command to see how the process is going watch cat process proc and then md st80 so we are going to see the md status and it's going to show you in the live mode and you can see uh, the values are changing and it's almost 18 percent so until it's 100 percent done uh, i will recommend do not do any kind of changing or unplug the drive or anything like that so once it's 100 percent completed then you're good to go you have the both drives back in the raid and yeah i'm gonna say uh, that's all for today because that was a topic how to uh, add back or rebuild the raid uh, in ubuntu server software raid so if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and if you're not uh, the subscriber of this channel please go ahead and subscribe and my comment box is always open for the people who want to learn something new or they have questions i always reply to everybody so just make sure to do any kind of comment if you like the video just say thanks or whatever thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye bye